you often are quoted as saying that you are not your father's financial planner. And so you definitely see the traditional ways failing women as they approach retirement. Yes, I started my blog three years ago and it's called Not Your Father's Advisor because again, the typical advisor is basically my father, right? Men in their 50s and 60s. And there really was this gap with talking to women about money and what they were putting out. So I wanted to make the language relatable to women, interesting, fun, and not so overwhelming, daunting, and stressful for them. And that's when I started the blog. I started events just for women so that they felt they had a safe place to ask questions. And how many times they go, I know this is a stupid question, but, <laughs> and it isn't a stupid question. They just didn't have somebody to talk to about it. Well, and that was the reason for writing the book, chock full of information. Yes. And when I started in the industry, and this probably happens with so many people and so many careers, I did what I was told and I did what I was expected to do. But what was happening is I was just giving everybody the standard then, right? the industry standard. And for the women I work with, for my clients, I wanted more for them. And that's why I started to relook the traditional financial planning and how is this really gonna work for women so that they get it, they understand it, and they feel empowered by the decisions they make with money, not scared the entire time.